What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, we got the Raptor liner on the entire truck of this 90 Toyota pickup. Completely Raptor lined. We just got the bed done. Come check this one out. Here's the bed we did in black Raptor. The truck is all green Raptor. This thing's looking sweet. This Raptor liner is really growing on me. I've never really liked it. I've seen pictures of complete trucks done and I've never really liked it that much, but having it myself, doing it myself, making it look like I wanted it to look with the texture, I'm actually really liking it. So we got a few things to do to the truck today. We have a new front end. And like I said in a previous video, I'm gonna color match this to the green. I really, really like color match grills. So the bumper is gonna be black, but the grill, the headlight surrounds, and the trim around the corner lights are gonna be in the same Raptor liner green. And I'm actually gonna thin the Raptor liner down a little bit to try to get a little bit smoother of a finish. I still want it textured, but I've never tried thinning it and I'm gonna try to thin it so it's not as textured as the truck, but still with some texture. So what we gotta do is scuff it all up, red scotch bright pad. We gotta mask off the light here. This is actually painted already, so I may do just a light coat of primer on it just to give the Raptor liner something extra to bite to, but it really shouldn't need it. So either way, the chrome is going to need some adhesion promoter and acid etch primer to get that really good bond. Chrome is always really tough to get anything to stick to, so what we're going to do is probably 100 grit sandpaper, scuff it up really, really good, we'll do adhesion promoter and an acid etch primer and that should give it enough bite for the Raptor liner to hold on. So let's get the stuff all scuffed up, cleaned up. We'll mask those lights off, shoot some primer, shoot some Raptor, see how this thing looks. All right guys, everything's all sanded up. So I actually decided I'm just gonna epoxy everything. So got my epoxy here, got the old beater HVLP to spray it since we're not really worried about too much with how it lays out. So what we're gonna do is clean this stuff with Windex actually. Windex is a very good cleaner for plastics. You really don't wanna use a solvent based cleaner on some plastics, it can actually screw it up. So we're gonna wipe it all down with Windex, let that dry up while we're getting the epoxy mixed up. And then we're just doing one coat. It'll seal everything and it'll give it a nice bond for the Raptor. And the good thing about epoxy is you have three days to top coat it without any scuffing, no sanding, nothing. You just spray it on wet on wet. So that's what we're gonna do, epoxy. And then we're gonna go straight into Raptor and spray that out. Thank you. 
Our epoxy is all dried up now. It's been about an hour, so I am going to mix up some Raptor. Like I said, I'm going to reduce this stuff. So I'm going to do the same, about three ounces of green, and then I'll probably reduce it about 10%. You can go up to, looks like 15 to 20%, you can thin it. But I'm not going to go that much. I don't want it super smooth. So we're going to try about eight to 10% and see what that does. If it's still pretty rough, on the second coat, I might reduce it more, but we'll try that out and see how it works. All right guys, now the next day, this stuff is uh, starting to dry up pretty good. So the texture, it didn't lay down as flat as I wanted it to. I think to really get a, a flat texture, you need to use the HVLP instead of the uh, that Raptor gun. But either way, it pretty much matches the truck. So it is perfectly fine. I'm gonna let this stuff dry up and harden up enough to where you know I don't put it on and chip it off or anything because it's still pretty soft. So while that's drying up and hardening up, I'm gonna get these flares on. So we got these little rubber strips for the edge so it doesn't rub through the paint. So we gotta clip those onto the edge here. And then we got all this hardware. So just little clips that you clip in the inner fender or onto the little tabs on the inside of the fender, screw them on and should be pretty simple to put on. So let's get the strips on. I'm gonna start with one, just to make sure everything lines up good and there's nothing we gotta do. What I did do already is bend these tabs out flat. So the originally stock, they're pushed way up. So I think you gotta get them down flat so the fender flare sits flat on the uh, actual fender. So bend those out and now let's get the, that rubber on and see how they fit. Right, guys I got these three back screws in I don't know if you're gonna be able to see up here but these front two are a little bit off so I'm just gonna have to re-drill a couple holes real quick in there screw them on and we'll be done so already with just three screws in there it's very solid
All right, we got this flare on. So something kind of weird. On the other flare, I had to redrill the two front holes. On this side, the top three lined up perfectly, and these ones were off. That one was off just a little bit, but look how far this one's off. It's way down here, if you can see that. And had to redrill it up there. But either way, it's on there, lined up, solid. So should be good to go on the front. Let's see if the backs fit. All right guys, flares are all on, screwed on, 100%. I'm gonna be real with you. You know I keep it real. So they fit pretty good. Um, this side had that hole off, that hole off, that hole off, that hole off, that one lined up, the two bottom ones lined up. So other than that, other than drilling some holes, they fit pretty good. The only problem is really the gap right there, but that's just because the flare really isn't molded into that little crevice so either way they're on they're solid this side has the same gap up here and it's pretty close on the door but still shuts fine and clears so we should be good to go there and i know you guys are thinking it looks a little goofy with the flares and the wheels that aren't offset enough to kind of fill it out but i got plans to fill it all out make it look good you'll see that in future videos so Next thing we can do is get this whole front end on. This stuff is uh, hardened up enough. I'll just be careful throwing it together. So let's get this whole front end on and see how it looks. There we go, front end's on, looking good. This thing's really coming together kind of the way I imagined it in my mind when I decided to do the green Raptor and the flares and the front end and all that stuff coming together, looking good. So to complete this front end, I think a nice black bumper will uh, make this thing really pop, make it have a little accent with the black and just complete the whole front end. So definitely stay tuned on the channel. We're gonna be doing something really cool with a bumper for this thing. Well, that's it for this one, guys. So the next video, if everything goes as planned, the next video should be getting this front bumper together. So definitely stay tuned if you wanna see that. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the truck so far. I think it's coming along great. The front end is really coming together, and I think with a bumper, it's gonna look really good. So go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.